Hi, my name is Ruben Molale. Welcome to Veggies and Herbs. In today's video, we will be focusing on why and how to start your seedlings for your vegetable garden. Let's get into it. Now, when it's time for you to fill your vegetable garden with plants, you will be faced with two options. Either to sow the seed directly into the soil or to start your seed off indoors in seed trays. Now, it's important to know that seed takes time to germinate and fluctuation in environmental conditions, for instance, too hot, too cold, too wet, or too dry conditions can affect how the seed germinate. On the other hand, if you start your seed off in seed trays indoors, you are unable to create a conducive environment for your seedlings to germinate firstly and also to grow during their vulnerable stage. With that being said, it's important to know that some seed like carrots beans and peas among others do much better off if they are sown directly into the soil but the majority of other seed can be started off in seed trays so i prefer to start most of my seed off in seed trays purely because it enables me to look after them during that vulnerable stage second it also helped me with success of planting now success of planting is when you do not have space available in your garden or the climate is not conducive yet for some crops then you can start those seedlings indoors and once space become available you can immediately go and transplant those seedlings into your garden but enough said about it let's go ahead and see how i go about starting off my seedlings now in order to start your seedlings you will need the following items you will need soil i just purchased this soil this compost from a local store so you will need compost yeah or any other potting mix Secondly, you will need seed. In South Africa, you can purchase your seed from spa, from pick and pay checkers. Online, you can go to Seeds for Africa. Um, so there are different places where you can get your seed or at any nursery, uh, but you will need some seed. I'm going to be growing some sweet chat in this video. Uh, and then you will also need a seed tray. So these are the items that will be required for you to start off your seedlings <coughs> let's go ahead and see how i go about so firstly you want to fill the seed tray with the soil medium with a compost just make sure that you fill it up nicely after that ensure that it is nice and firm the second step will be to go ahead and soak it with water after you soak it with water leave it maybe for five minutes so that water can just drain through to the to the compost after that you can go to the next phase which is to put in the seed so i prefer to put three seeds per cell that is just to make sure that if some seed do not germinate you know to increase the chances of your seed germinating if all three seeds germinate then you can always just remove the weaker plant when you are transplanting the seed into your garden after you have done that you want to lightly cover it up with the soil or with the compost and then I'll give it just a light watering to ensure that the topsoil is also nice and moist yeah and the next thing will be then to just go ahead and label the crop so that you can know what you have planted so I will write down the date and I will also write down the name of the crop so just to make it easy for me to identify what type of crop has being planted in that specific tray. Then I'll go ahead and put it in a tray and put it then on my window seal to germinate. And that is the simple process starting off your seedlings at home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found value out of it. Please press the like button and also consider subscribing if you are interested in urban gardening, in vegetable gardening, and wanting to know how to maximize gardening in small spaces. Thanks again and see you in the next video.